Minnesota continues to remember Walter Mondale, who died on Monday at the age of 93. The state knows him as an attorney general and senator. The nation remembers him as President Jimmy Carter's influential vice president who reshaped the job. But in the town where he grew up, he is their most famous resident. Caroline Cummings takes us there. No doubt, Walter Mondale is a political legend in Minnesota, but to a tiny town touching the Iowa border, he's one of their own. He um, showed true, like, humility um, and was very, you know, kind of honored to be from here. America is for everyone. Mondale made American history, transforming the office of the vice president and tapping Geraldine Ferraro to be his running mate, the first woman to be on a major party ticket. In Elmore, Minnesota, where he spent his childhood, his story is deeply woven into the fabric of the town's history, revered by the couple hundred people who still live there today. He went from this very small little town to be vice president and, and to run for president, so I would say that he accomplished a whole lot and we should be proud of him. And proud they are. Just head down to the Elmore Museum, yes, museum, and you'll find newspaper clippings, yearbook photos, and campaign mementos. The building, the former church where his father was a pastor, situated around the corner from what's now East Mondale Street. Walter Mondale State Spence. Representative Bjorn Olson lives on that block. Working in St. Paul, the Republican tries to take a page from Mondale's book. From the very beginning until until the end yesterday. He took care of people, and he and that's what he attempted to do in everything that he did. In 2013, during the 150th anniversary celebration of this town, Olson says he got a knock on his door that he wasn't expecting. And he says, "Hey, can I come and see my my old home?" I said, "Absolutely, you absolutely can." It's true. Olson lives in Mondale's boyhood home on East Mondale Street. There's even a sign to commemorate it. Olson says Mondale told him that he hosted his first kickoff event for president on that back porch. That bid for the White House failed, but Mondale still leaves a storied political legacy behind. And in Elmore, he will always be the town's favorite son. They ask about it when they come, you know, do you have anything about Mondale? In Elmore, Caroline Cummings, WCCO 4 News. The family of the former vice president is planning to wait until September to hold memorial services. They're planning public services both in Minnesota and in Washington, D.C.